around 30 days, 60 days, and 90 days after you receive your transplant. You may have tests such as x-rays, CT scans, a bone marrow aspiration, blood and urine, and other tests to restage the disease. Your stem cell transplant doctor will review the test results with you. After the 90-day restaging of disease, your stem cell transplant doctor will decide when you will be able to return home for local follow-up care. You must check with your doctor before going back to work. Around day 60 to 70, your care may be moved to the stem cell transplant clinic, where you will be seen weekly by your stem cell transplant doctor or advanced practice provider. Before you are released to your local doctor for continued follow-up, you will be scheduled for a visit with an advanced practice provider in the Stem Cell Transplant Survivorship Clinic. At this visit, you and the advanced practice provider will review how to manage your ongoing health care. Once you are back home, you will continue to have regular visits with your stem cell transplant team, as well as visits with the survivorship clinic around six months, one year, 18 months, two years, and three years. Since you have had a stem cell transplant from another person, your blood type may eventually change if you and your donor have different blood types. This may happen around three to six months after your transplant. At first, you may have a mixed blood type, but over time, your blood type may change to the same blood type as your donor. If you ever need a blood transfusion at another hospital, be sure to tell them this information. All of your blood products need to be irradiated, which means exposed to radiation. This is very important to prevent serious reactions. You should carry a card with the following information, your original blood type, your donor's blood type, the date of your transplant, and your most recent blood type result. During the transplant process, you will lose any previous immunity you had to diseases you were vaccinated for as a child. At your six-month follow-up visit, your doctor will discuss revaccination with you. This may be done at home by your local doctor. There are many services available at MD Anderson to help you. Ask your care team for a copy of the Resources and Services Guide for a complete list. Also, talk with your stem cell transplant care team if you have any questions about your care.